don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it because people told me I couldn't and here we are. Hello, my name is Pelumi. I'm a world traveler. I love to explore and I'm so excited to be here. To be honest, I wanted to explore the world. I have been traveling for so long, 80 plus countries, how many countries I've been to. Um, but I wanted to connect the two places I consider home, which is Lagos, where I was born, and London, where I grew up into. And I saw there was not a lot of representation within the Overland community, and I wanted to showcase that even more. So it was just a perfect opportunity to be able to explore and to inspire others to do the same. So it's honestly a privilege to be able to showcase Africa as a continent. You know, we don't see the best narrative being put out there. I've been joyful to be able to explore Europe and Asia, but it just seemed right to also explore West Africa. I've done East Africa, I've done South Africa. So this was an opportunity to go back to my roots and the timing just happened to align in the right moment. Today is my final night here in Senegal and I thought it'd be great to record exactly how I sleep in my car. I'm on campsite, so I have access to amenities like showers and the toilet, but I am sleeping in my car. So I open up the boat and I take up the kitchen feature. So I just place that to the right hand side. Then the next thing I do is grab this bag of dirty laundry. I'm going to show you how I do my laundry this weekend. Oh my car breaking down on me. 30 minutes to the border. Yo, I need all the prayers to go up right now because this is mad. She just stopped working. I think the main challenge was the fact that I was doing this by myself. So the fact that I had to navigate loneliness, the fact that I had to navigate, you know, a lot of rules um, and doing it alone. There was definitely the border crossing issue, which I spoke about intensively. Um, there was the accident that happened. There was just missing home and just being a solo female traveler, um, having to step out of my comfort zone and do this daring thing. <laughs> went through custom control and you just you just make up rule on the spot. Just have to say you're sorry and you are you're the wrong in the wrong. They don't believe I'm driving from London. They want some money. In the West African borders or just you know ECOWAS as a whole, I think there's room up for improvement in terms of you know what the policy is saying in terms of freedom of movement, which is not really what I experienced. I experienced a lot of you know hostility sometimes from the officers. I expect a lot of you know bribery, a lot of corruption, a lot of people you know demanding money that were not official. You know, so that was quite you know annoying and a bit inconvenient in a way. Very, very clear example. I wanted to leave from Ghana into Togo. The closing time is six o'clock. I got there six five fifteen. The man has gone home. Wow. The person that's meant to stamp the document. So I'm like, so what do you want me to do? Mm. Someone just sleep at the border? Like that's okay. Like yeah. who are these people? Same you know, are, exactly. Yeah. Who are they accountable to? You know, who are checking? I've got to borders where the officials are drinking, like wow. drunk. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like. So those are the few things that you know have to be put into place and I'm hoping once you know I'm a bit settled I'm able to start raising campaigns around these kind of things. So I wanted to ask you if you've at any point had to deal with colorism as a black a dark-skinned black woman. Absolutely, you know, being preferential treatments, you know, given to a light, light-skinned person. Even during my trip, you know, it was very, very clear, like, you know, a European wouldn't have been treated this way. Being made or forced to sleep at the border for two nights, it's like this would have been a different situation if I was in a different race or just a different color tone. The Europeans, even, the in, even in Africa sometimes, definitely. It's definitely been a thing whereby, you know, it's a cheeky comment here and there too as well, always a play role, you know, going co co compared to the tire of the car or mm -hmm. like, you know, it's... it's they compared you to the oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's been a thing. <laughs> Black is beautiful. Black is and you are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, it's been a joy to be elected as Ambassador of Tourism here in Lagos State. I think even the welcome I receive as, you know, from the Lagos State government and from Nigeria as a whole already portrays such a positive message about this is how the country chooses their citizens after they, you know, finish something so great. Yeah.